Hi there and welcome along to After Effects Tutorials. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at something that has no doubt made After Effects uh, famous uh, throughout the land of uh, graphic design and that is the ability to apply effects to things on our page be that uh, an image, a video or a piece of text and uh, it's really where After Effects really uh, grows another leg it becomes very very exciting so what I've done is I've put a a simple solid on my page and you can do that through the layer new menu a new solid or a shape or a piece of text but I'm going with a solid today and I want to apply an effect to that so I've got it selected and I'm going to put on one of the simulators and these are wonderful wonderful uh, effects that have been created that we can then manipulate to suit us. So what I'm going to go for here I think is Pixel Poly. Um, I don't know why it's called Pixel Poly but there it is. Um, and I'm going to go to the start and I'm going to play my video. I'll just try to get this up a little bit so we can see a little bit more. Um, and there it is there and hitting the space bar and I'll have this wonderful shattering effect with the uh, diamond pixels. So this obviously uh, is interesting, but it's not exactly what we want yet. We need to be able to control the effects on our page and, and have them do what we want to do. So with my medium solid selected, I'm dropping down to the effects drop downs, and I'll see that I've got pixel poly um, within this uh, effect. I can have more than one uh, effect. I can have any amount of effects going on at the one time. And that's where After Effects uh, can get very complicated. And I'm just looking down here and I have all of these animatable properties that I can um, work with here. So this is the default setting straight out of the box and it looks kind of okay. Shattering down here. But I'm thinking I might want to have a bit of control of this. One of the first things I would want to do is initiate a start time so I don't want it to happen right at the start I might like to have maybe a seconds a second of enjoying this blue box before I blow it up so I'll space that bar on bang so I can tell it effectively when to happen okay so I've given it a second and then boom okay so that's going well um, I have the ability to change the the force, so how quickly this thing exposed, so it's going to go boom with a little bit more force and I can change that. The gravity is an interesting one. Come through here, if you notice the, the, the tiles or the diamonds are all sort of dropping down aren't they, they're sort of falling out of the sky and that's a physics characteristics to do with gravity. So if I set that to zero, and I'm going to set that to zero and I'll notice that now my shattering it all shatters out uniformly up and down and I get a really nice sort of looking bang it's sort of a classic explosion um, speed randomness and that's again that's gonna just make things look a little bit more random a little bit more convincing you might want to fiddle around with that the grid spacing here um, that's to do with as how big those little pixels are so so if I set that down a little bit smaller that's gonna obviously look like a more fine sort of a explosion and less like broken glass so it's gonna look like a more shattering effect like such um, I can change these to a different kind of pixel so blow that up there so, so have a bit of a look at that so I've got a polygon texture I could change these all different kind of things and uh, some of them look a little bit more interesting than others. Yep, that's fine. I can live with that. So there's my squares blowing up. And I've got my time duration set. What else can we do with that? I can force the center or have the the origin point. So it's going to force the center. It's the animation is going to happen from sort of more to the side. That will be the origin of the explosion, if you like. So it's going to explode out to there. Okay, so let's pop that down. And okay, so that is confined by the dimensions of that box. When I hit the space bar, 
it's only going to happen within that box. Obviously, if you want this sort of to be more of a convincing explosion, it probably wants to occupy the entire screen here. So we'll just make that happen by expanding the size of our um, uh, our solid and bang, looking good. Okay, not too bad at all. I'm just going to come forward here. I might just drop that. I don't like that too square. I think I prefer the polygon. I might change the grid spacing down to three. That's a little better. A bit more fine. Second, yeah, that's better. Okay, so I've got a nice little effect happening there. Um, one more thing before we go. I'm just going to drop that solid in behind my type now. Um, I've got an effect, and bang, she goes. What I'd like to do is take that effect, and I can actually copy by pressing Command C. I can copy that effect. I'm going to select one of these pieces of type, and with that selected, I'm going to paste that effect back in there. So effectively, I'm taking the effect from one place, copying it, and putting it on the other. So let's see how we go with that. So After Effects, all blows up. After Effects, give it one more time. Bang. Lovely. Okay, so look, um, After Effects is got a lot of effects and we're going to be looking at some of those in future animations and tutorials. I hope that it's been interesting for you and we'll see you next time.